Today's topic is America, and it's closer to a Dark Age or a Renaissance. Well, first we have to know what both these are. The Dark Ages is the time when it was really dark outside, right? No, Kyle. The Dark Ages were bad times when it seemed like everything was in a decline. Literacy, learning, living environments, and many other things. But wasn't there something called the Black Plague? Yeah, it was, a, it was pretty bad. Lucky for you, we have a group of very talented actors to reenact what it was like for the people in the Dark Ages dealing with the plague. Black Flag! It's only a dark two! It's only a dark Well, that was rather disturbing. Yes, and back in the Dark Ages, the plague would wipe out around 30 to 60 percent of the people in Europe. In crowded villages, the effects of it were even worse. At the time, they were not positive how the disease was spread, and a lot of people thought that you could catch it through the air. That is actually incorrect. The plague originally came from somewhere around the Black Sea. Rats on the ships were infected by the disease, and then fleas would bite them and become infected. Then they would jump onto people and bite them, thereby infecting them. Once the people had died, they were piled together and burned. People then threw flowers on them. This is where the child song came from. Ring around the rosy. system during this time. Feudalism is a system of government where the king has complete control of all the land under his control. He owned all the land, but leased land to barons he trusted. Barons provided their own money to work the farms and paid taxes to the king for letting them use his land. The king would also lease land to knights for their military services. Under the barons and knights were the peasants. They were the workers on the barons and knights' farms. They had no rights at all and were ta So the king was in charge at this time, right? No, technically he owned the land and the bodies of the people were under his control, but the pope had control of the people's souls. The pope had power over all Europe and the king had only power of the country he ruled over. decided he was next in power? Yes, the Pope could give the king divine right to rule because he was the first man under God. So the Renaissance means rebirth, right? <laughs> yes, but a lot more things happened during the Renaissance than that. It's the rebirth of learning, math, science, art, and many other types of learning flourished during this time period. A lot of medieval art was made for churches and told stories from the Christian religion. Medieval artists also focused on creating symbols of Christian concepts and morals and didn't focus on using realism in their art. During the Renaissance, artists started using humanism in their art. Humanism is the mode of thought in which human interests, values, and dignity prevail. There were three major changes to consider between medieval art and Renaissance art. Three major changes to consider between medieval art and Renaissance art. One, the evolving role of the artist from craftsman to independent artist. Two, more widespread incorporation of secular objects into works of art, particularly mythological subjects. Three, the development of individual artistic styles and techniques. One of the biggest inventions of this period was the printing press by Johann Gutenberg. Printing press? Isn't that where you just bench press books? Come on, Joey! Everything you got! Everything you got! Come on, Joey! Come on, Joey! No. The printing press allowed for books to be made very quickly. This allowed for people to have more access to literature. This also led to an increase in literacy because now other classes besides nobles had access to books. So where and when did this all start? The Renaissance is believed to have started in the 1400s in Italy. The Protestant Reformation was a huge movement for the people of the Renaissance. It was when they began to question the Catholic Church and its ethics. Some people, such as Martin Luther, went as far as going against the Church and stated his own teachings. He even nailed his teachings, or thesis, on the doors of the Catholic officials. There were other people that wanted to reform the Church from the inside. Desiderius Aramis was a prime example of this and known for setting the stage for Reformation. 
He wanted to improve the church from the inside and decided to stay with the church. Huh? What? Oh, uh, well, why did these guys want to change the church? A lot of them just de disagreed with some of the things that the church was doing. Hey man, I'm gonna buy your way into heaven, sell as long as an adult is 50. Pretty tired with the big man upstairs. That big man? <laughs> no, not him. Oh, alright then. Here you go. You have a good day, sir. Is America more like a dark age or a renaissance? From what I've seen and heard, I believe that we are closer to falling into a dark age. Before the dark ages, the plague broke out, and that was one of the major causes of the dark ages. Now we have many serious diseases like H1N1 and AIDS, and who knows which one of them could become the next plague. Also before the dark age, they seen a high rise in crime. Now we have some of the highest crime rates ever recorded. Yes! You just stole my wallet. <laughs> Before the Dark Ages and through the whole age, there was a decline of learning, and right now, standardized test scores are a lot lower than they have ever been. The internet is allowing for people today to not actually have to learn things. All they have to do is Google it, and then they have the answer. Is this what you want, America? 1100 years of struggle and heartache? This is not what I want for America's future. So buy yourself a pair of Skechers and shape up. Let's go. So that concludes our broadcast. This is Trevor Johnson for Kyle Eagle saying, Shape up, America. Shape up. Black Plague! Black Plague! It's only a tattoo! I wanna be a billionaire so freaking bad Buy all of the things I never had I wanna be on the cover of Forbes magazine Smiling next to Oprah and the Queen Oh, every time I close my eyes I see my name in shine